from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time now for the Beat Teal with Brian Sexton on the horse's mouth right here at Tommy Max, of course, at my barn. Brought to our good friends at Dasher and Hot Spring Spas of Jacksonville. We're talking IT consulting this time around, and Amber Lowry from Cicero is our guest. Let's say hello to Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi. How are you? I'm very Welcome well. Welcome to the show and Thank to the you. bar, Brian, my man. Good to see you. Feeling teal. Yeah, feeling teal, <laughs> man. Before we get into uh, Cicero, what is uh, Beat Teal? mean to you, Amber? What do you think? To There's be no right or wrong teal. answer. No, it's whatever you feel. Yeah. Oh, City of Jacksonville, color teal, being teal. What do you think? I think enjoying the scenery and enjoying the city for what it is. I love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Which is I a didn't great prep place. either. I wasn't going to no, I know. And I, I know. almost <laughs> jumped in to save her and say, well, come back to that at the end. You gave a great answer. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I did put you on the spot. I know. Thanks. Now you can put me on the spot. Tell Perfect. me about your company, your company yes. that you own. Congratulations. Yeah, first thank and you. Foremost. Yeah. So as co-founder and CEO at Cicero, we do IT consulting services for HR, payroll, and finance. Okay. And we specifically look at software called Workday is what we support. Okay. okay. So Interesting. we do advisory services all the way through full client implementation. How well. did you get down to the niche of Workday? Did it take a little while or how did you? Well, I'm one of those it? weird ones where I went straight into Silicon Valley right out of college. Okay. And okay. I was pre-IPO working for Workday as kind of a little newbie okay. pre-21 age. Right. So it was one of those like, I got in, I loved the software, I understand an object-oriented databases. I'm a complete nerd. I own that with my whole heart. <laughs> and then we just went in that. Nerds. Thank you so you much. I appreciate it. Is that the subtitle of your business? Cicero, complete uh, nerds. Nerds. complete nerds. I mean, there, there are just amazingly talented individuals on yeah, my team. We find the nerds. We do. So we do. when did you decide, and maybe it was when you were a kid, but when did you decide you were going to work for yourself and be Ooh, your own yeah. business yeah. person? Definitely. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, like it, 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 it depends on the person you ask. If you ask the people that I went to school with, they're like, Amber, I'll always wanted to own a business, sure. but I didn't know what it was. But when my daughter was two, I was working crazy hours at this large Fortune 50 company doing Workday. Okay. It kind of came to a, a culmination of, I really love consulting, but frankly, I don't want to work these crazy hours. How do we find a balance on consulting services yep. that support working moms? Right. And so that was where I had that genesis in 2016. And frankly, we started off with a bunch of working moms at New Workday. Do you advise more on the recruiting side or the sale, like finding sales for those contractors? Or how does that, uh, do you already actually, just one side, the, the recruitment side? It's actually the full life cycle. It because is. we realized that small, medium enterprise clients, so employee sizes from 100 to 3,000, okay. they need full support. They need to find the people because they may not know what Workday talent looks like. Right. Right. They need help during the implementation to advise when they have maybe a Deloitte's or Accenture's coming in to say, hey, what's going on? Yep. And then afterwards, what does that look like for an operational model? Mm -hmm. How do you help them and support them through that? So what is what is it that sets Cicero apart from your competition? If you're in the elevator, we're going up to the 10th floor, yeah. right? Yeah. And I ask you this question. Well, look, he, he put you on the spot and he gave oh, yeah. a great answer. So I'm giving the same answer. <laughs> what is it that is so special about what you and your team have built? Oh. Oh my people goodness. should pick up the phone and call you today. Today. Ooh. We're just going to be well, brutally we're going to we're going to be brutally honest Have with you. Have you not figured that's what we are? I know. Yep. But but being brutally honest I think is true, especially with consulting because it's like look, people are going to tell you all frankly that some of that BS of here's the way you need to do it or you should yep. do it this way. It's like, you know what? That may not be working well for your business mm -hmm, right. because we're going to learn about you. Yeah. So you're not scared to have them say, well, we're not going to do business with you. No. <laughs> right. I love that. How about um, people that are thinking of taking that risk, listening to the watching this show? How about women? Because I know that's, you know, you being a, an, an, a woman owner of a business is yeah. huge and, and huge out there, but they're thinking about it. What would you say to them to, hey, man, to have some faith, take the leap? What would you say to them? I think leaning into that faith of finding your group of individuals to support you through that, yep. do it because it is a hard, it's hard, it's, it's a lot of work, there's a lot of boundaries to be set, there's a lot of expectations that you need to have with yourself and the people that are going to support you along the way, but do it. Yeah. 
it That's can be great. done. Just do it, like yep. Nike said. <laughs> exactly, right. <laughs> great having you on. Yeah, thanks thank so you much. so really much. Appreciate nice. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank it. you. And thanks for the quick answers. Yeah, Absolutely. No doubt. On the spot, we like you already. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for us this time around here on The Horse's Mouth. Make sure you check out their great profiles, this conversation, and many, many others at dailynewsnetwork.com. Until next time, you stay safe out there and be cool. And we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information? Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.